when it comes to the concept of package we have to use the lower case package package name this is the syntax that you need to remember so i have to use the dot operator to access the particular package class a so this is the name of the class hello everyone i welcome all of you to the second session on packages yes guys i think all of you have seen my previous session what is that i have done in the session number 1 of packages i have discussed what exactly package is all about and how exactly we are using the different apis that we have in the java let's check what is that i have in today's session so guys i will be discussing how to create a package in this session along with that i will also discuss how do we access a package which is already there and then followed by using a package adding a class to a package and hiding a class is what i will be discussing with all of you in this session so guys without wasting much of your time let me get into the session by discussing the naming conventions what exactly naming conventions is all about whenever i'm giving a name to a package i need to follow the java naming conventional rules so fine that is the first and most important thing which i need to remember the second point always you have seen in the java program we give the class name with the upper case but it is not like that when it comes to the concept of package we have to use the lower case so why are we doing like this it is helping us to differentiate the class as well as the package is what you need to remember at this point of time so this is the most important thing that you should remember with respect to the naming conventions moving forward to the next topic that we have how do i create a package so we have listed out uh, certain steps which you should never forget the first step that you need to remember with respect to the package creation is so define the package at the beginning of the file using the form package package name this is the syntax that you need to remember in the beginning of the file so you have to use this statement so package here is a keyword and you can give the package name first whatever you want and it should match the conventions of java so that is the most important thing that you need to remember at this point of time moving forward to the second point so define the class and it should be put into the package declare it at with public this is most important thing i will be speaking about this point even in the last part of the session why because if you don't make the class as public so you are hiding it so it will not be visible to everybody so that is most important point that you need to remember so whenever you are adding a class make sure that it has got the keyword with a public so fine moving forward so create a sub directory under the directory where the main source files are stored so that's what you need to remember so i have the main directory where i have stored all my source program and there i have to create one more folder so inside that i have to store this class and then you compile so after compiling there so please understand what had what exactly happens so after compiling the compile file is create the class inside the sub directory so this is what happens inside the sub directory so fine let me show you that so guys imagine this is how i write package and the package name then followed by i am using the keyword called public i am using the keyword called public in front of the name of the class so this is the class that i am using so fine what is the next thing that i have to do i have the main folder okay i have the main folder where i have stored all the source files so inside this i will create one more sub directory so there i will be storing this class so i will compile after that so it will be creating the file after compilation so that is what you need to remember with respect to the last point compile the file this creates a class file in the sub directory so this is how we create the package that's what you need to remember here so fine moving forward to the next important topic so accessing a package so how do we access a package a very important concept that we need to understand and it's more important as well as it's more easy so guys if you just look at this statement you will be able to understand so what is that i have here so guys 
I will be using the keyword called import. Yes, obviously. And so please remember, suppose I have stored the packages inside the package. Okay, then what does that have to do? So I have to use the dot operator to access the particular package and the particular class. Say for example, so I have taken the syntax. So what is that I have here in the syntax? I have used the import keyword here, then followed by I have the package one. So dot package two, dot package three, dot class name. What exactly it means? Let me explain this in detail. Listen to me carefully. First, I have the main package. I'm calling that as a first package. Then after that, inside this package, I have stored the second package. So inside that, I have the class name. Sir, how do I identify this, whether it is a package name or a class name? I have already told you, always the package name will be with the lower case. And my class name will be from the upper case. That's what you need to observe here. So this is how I will be accessing the package and also a specific class. That is the first method that I have. I have one more easiest method. So this is very, very easy. I like this. Okay, but there is a disadvantage. Guys, what happens with this? I will be using the import keyword and then followed by the package name dot. I am using star. So please remember this. Star in the sense whatever I have inside that package everything will be loaded. That's what you need to understand. So that is one more thing that you need to remember with respect to the accessing a package. All right, so moving forward to the next concept. So guys, please observe this program. So what is the topic that I have? Using a package. How do I use the package? So please listen to me carefully. So what is that I have here? Listing the below shows package name package one contains a single class class a so how do i do it so guys what is that i'm doing is i have the keyword called package and my package name is package one let's imagine package one so fine so inside this i'm storing this class inside this package what is that i'm doing i'm storing this class and please observe as i have already discussed so we have to use the keyword public we have to use the keyword public and the class, class A. So this is the name of the class. Class underscore A is what you can take it. All right. So guys, what is that you need to understand here? So here I have the package. What is the name of the package? Package one is the name of the package. So fine. Here, what is that I'm using? I'm using a keyword called public. And then again, I'm using a keyword called class. And what is the name of the class here? So class A is the name of the class. So fine. Then after that, I have a method. So I have a method called display A. All right. So I have a method called display A and then followed by I have a print of system dot out dot print ln. So it will help me to print the statement. So fine. Whenever I'm having this, I have to make sure that so this class has got the modifier as public. This is very, very important. I should have the access specifier as public. Otherwise, it this class will be hidden. So you will not be able to access this class. This is very, very important. So that is what we need to highlight at this point of time. What is the next concept that I have? Adding a class to a package. So guys, let's understand this, how exactly we are doing. We've already discussed this. So please observe, define the class and make it public. That is the first thing that they suggest. So fine. So what is that I'm doing? I'm defining, I'm defining this class and I'm making this class as a public. So class B, okay, and I'm having a modifier as public. So that is the first thing that you have to do. So fine, after that, place the package statement. That's the most important thing that you should never forget. What is the statement then? So this is the statement package P1. So package and the name of the package. So whatever the name that you want, you can have it. So this is the most important statement. So fine, this is done. Then what is the next step that I have to do? Please observe store B.java. What is that you have to do? B.java. Suppose if your class name is B, so you have to have B.java, then file name will be B.java. So fine, here B is the class name and I have it as a B.java file. So file that under directory P1. So please remember that. I have this B.java and I'm placing that inside the directory P1. So P1 in the sense, please observe package name. So that's a folder that you have. 
So I will be placing that. So fine. Then compile b dot Java file. What is the next thing that you have to do? Compile b dot Java file, and this will create a b dot file and place it in a directory p1. This is how you will be adding a class to a package. This is what you need to remember. So fine. Moving forward, hiding a class. Guys, you all know that if you don't give a keyword, okay, if you don't give a keyword here as public, so automatically that class will be hidden. So what happens at that time? So when you import the statement or when you import any package using an import statement with the star, at that particular point of time, the hidden class will not be loaded. So that is what you need to remember at this point of time. So guys, to make it visible, so you have to make that class as public. That's what you need to remember at this point of time by the next one. So how do we hide the package? How do we hide the class, not package? So please listen to me carefully. So guys, I have the keyword package P1, all right? So then followed by, I have the keyword that is public and I have a keyword called class. Name of the class is X. So is it visible? Yes, it is visible. So public class is available outside. Public class is available outside this package also. So but, so please, Observe this. I don't have the public keyword for this class. Why? So please remember not public and it is hidden. So this class is hidden. Whenever I use import statement and if I want to import the classes, whatever I have inside this package. So by giving star. So guys, at that point of time, I will not be able to see this class. So that's what you need to remember at this point of time. So by this, I've come to an end of this session. So by saying this, tata, bye bye, take care.